Hello ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else watching. My name's Eric, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Bioshock Hub. Today, we're going to be talking about a game that is confusing, but exciting at the same time, and you'll see what I mean about that. Now, this is an IGN article, if you want to check it out as always, it'll be down in the description below. If you wanna leave a comment on it and make Rebecca's day a little bit better, that'd be very much appreciated. And also, if you guys have not seen the reveal trailer for Judas, I'll put that down in the description as well. So, let's hop into this. Ghost Story Games' Judas is currently planned for release by March 2025. So, two years essentially. And here's the confusing yet exciting part. So, Judas was announced in last December, and we already have a time window for that game of 2025. However, Bioshock, the new one made by Cloud Chamber, we've heard nothing about and it was announced in 2019. That's the confusing part. The exciting part is we actually have a time window for Judas, so there's something to look forward to. But obviously, there could be delays and other things that impact the game. Now, let's get into the article and discuss it a little bit further. After years apparently in development hell, Ghost Story Games appears to finally be ready to show us more of its mysterious FPS, Judas. As mentioned, we got our first real look at the next game from Bioshock creator Ken Levine at the Game Awards last December, and according to Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick, we'll actually get to play it for ourselves sometime before the end of March 2025. Again, pushing delays and other problems aside, it is a time window of March. However, of course, delays can happen, and I could actually see it being pushed back to potentially the middle of 2025 or the holiday of 2025. This comes from Take-Two's quarterly earnings report, which outlines that it has 87 total games planned for release between fiscal 2023 and fiscal 2025. Hopefully, the next Bioshock is one of those 87 games, but time will tell on that end. Speaking to IGN, ahead of the earnings release, I asked Zelnick if Judas was included in that 87 number, and he said yes. Next time, Rebecca, you should ask about Bioshock 2. Please, please do it. We're dying over here for some news. That being said, delays happen all the time. 2025 is far away and delays have been especially prevalent across AAA game development in recent years. I followed up by asking Zelnick if he anticipated significant delays to impact that promise of 87 games, and while he acknowledged some delays were always possible, he seemed confident in the plan Take-Two is putting out to its investors. 87 games is rather ambitious, so hopefully they're not just going to churn out a game to just put it out if that makes sense. Quote, we did have some slippage in the last few years, he said. And quote, we feel really stable right now. I feel great about our upcoming schedule. Of course, there's the possibility of some slippage, but the teams seem to be functioning really well, and I'm optimistic about delivering great titles to the marketplace on an ongoing basis. Again, hopefully that's the case. Hopefully there's no delays, and hopefully we'll get a lot of good games out of that 87 number, which is still rather ambitious and mind-blowing. In the same conversation, Zelenik clarified the possibility of layoffs at the publisher in the coming months, saying that while some jobs may be lost, he expects the impact to be, quote, modest. He also discussed the GTA 6 leaks from late last year and their emotional impact on the team. As far as Judas is concerned, we got our first true look at the project at the Game Awards in last December. We know that it's going to be a single-player narrative FPS that's coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC via Steam and the Epic Games Store. Well, everyone, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Obviously, I'm excited for the game and I want to cover it in the future. However, I think it might have been a little too early to announce a release window, especially when you have other projects that were already announced in 2019 that we still have no information about. Like I said, 
leave a comment down below. I'm genuinely interested in seeing what you guys have to say about this. And I would like for that to be civil. So be respectful. That's all I ask. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Bioshock content in the future, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? It means a lot. It takes only two seconds and we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. So it would be very much appreciated. Also, if you did enjoy the video and want to see more, would you kindly hit that like button and hit the bell and turn on all post notifications. That way you never miss a future video or a future live stream. If you want to stay up to date with me outside of YouTube, my social medias and Discord server are the best ways to do so, the links to which will be down in the description below. Thank you all so very much for watching today's video. Take care, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all again very, very soon. See you guys.